Look at those little neon guys, man. Look at that. Got the little pinks going. What, what else we got down here? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Got some little guys. Man, they got nothing in here. I really... Look at that. That'd be a cool little pet right there. Little pink guys swimming around. Little neon colors. That's sad right there. Walmart, you need to fix this. This is nasty. <laughs> this is really bad. They need... I mean, look at this. They... Come on, Walmart. Fix this for me, please. Make it a little better environment. These look healthy, man. These look good, but I don't know about all this, man. See, we got a dead boy. That's not good. Bright and early with another video. You guys are going to kill me because I'm in Walmart again. I'm sorry, but there's a good reason to why I'm here today. We're doing something totally different. Like, usually when we come to Walmart, we're just buying lures and all this stuff. But uh, we're going to be doing something different today. We were doing a live bait fishing video. The last live bait fishing video I did, you guys absolutely tore up. I think it's one of the fastest growing videos on my channel to date. So today, we're doing another live bait video. But we're going to do it with something a little bit different, okay? Night crawlers. Listen, this is going to bring it back to back in the day when I used to fish with my grandfather. You know, we used to use live. We used to come to the same refrigerator right here. And we used to get some live bait. So... First things first, 18 Canadian night crawlers. What me and my grandfather used to do is we used to open it up and make sure they're actually in there because some of the ones, they kind of screw you over, man. They only give you like a few. So we're gonna go ahead and check this, make sure there's some good, juicy night crawlers in there. And then actually, <laughs> you guys have been asking for me to buy a rotted reel combo at Walmart. We're gonna do that as well today. I've never done that before. I've never just went out of my way to buy a uh, different rod and reel combo, but we're gonna do that as well. But let's go ahead and check these night crawlers out. Or actually, let's let's get the rod first. That makes more sense, right? We want to keep the night crawlers cool and fresh in the cooler. See, we got all these push button ones. We got a spinning combos. I want something pretty inexpensive, man. I don't want to pay too much for a combo. There's no way that's twenty nine dollars. See, they got this all wrong, man. They got this all wrong. Hold up. I don't want to pay 40 bucks, man. I want to pay like 30. They got bait casters right there, some spinning combos, some regular just clothes push button reels, which I, I honestly don't want to mess with. What do they have over here? They got some more push button reels. I don't want to mess with that. They got a freaking 17 foot cane pole right here. I don't know about that one either. Options, options, options. You know how I was talking about the spinning reels, this, this, and that? I think we're gonna make our life a little bit easier and also more of a challenge. I'm going with the Zebco 33 right here. Is this not amazing right here? Look at this. We have to go with the Zebco 33, don't we? That's definitely what we're going with today. And this sucker already has some line on it. It's got 10 pound Cajun line, whatever the heck that Cajun line. I'm gonna throw a little bit of Cajun season on this thing made in Louisiana or something. Anyways, this is what we're going with today. We're gonna get this push button reel. It's been probably a year since I've used something like this. Yeah, of course you're good, man. But um, we're gonna go with, with the Zebco 33. Already got a line on it. Let's go make it more of a challenge, you know? I would put my own line on it, but one, I don't feel like wasting the time. And two, it's gonna make it even more of a challenge if we use the line that's on the reel. Even though it's 10 pound, man. But it's Cajun line, I don't know about that. It's made in Louisiana or something, all right. Now it's time to come back to the night crawlers. Let's go ahead and open a few of these up just to make sure we're getting what we're paying for, boys. It's $3.53 for 18 night crawlers, but in reality, there's probably like two in there, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, you like the cooler shot? Oh, man, yeah, that's it. That's it, Chief. Some big ones right there, boy. These are some big ones, okay. Yeah, wait, let me check one more just in case. Holy mother of pearl. I think we found it. This one's it. Whew. Before I freeze my camera, probably should take it out of the freezer, right? So we got the night crawlers. We got the bait cast, bait cast. We got the Zebico 33 Cajun style, baby. I'm forgetting a lot of stuff, okay? We need some hooks, maybe some bobbers, and also some weights. If I would have forgot that, this would not be a good challenge because I would have got to the pond, and it just would have been downhill from there. So I think I'm going with these bad boys. A dollar sixteen. You get three bobbers right here. Okay. I don't even know if we're gonna end up using the bobber, but you know, we're gonna bring it just in case. Three bobbers right there, just about a dollar. I think I'm gonna go with these eagle claws. These are the ones I always use when I was younger. So that's what we're rolling with today. So we're gonna get those, and I'm also gonna get some bigger ones just in case. I mean, there's a dollar. Can we lose? Can we go wrong? And then I'm gonna get some split shots too. Uh, 
Those are good right there. Okay, got some little split shots. So look, this is what we're messing with right here, man. Got some split shots right there. It's just about a dollar. Three bobbers, just about a dollar. And two packs of hooks. We got a, we got some very small ones. And we got some like medium sized ones. You know what I'm saying, man? So that's about $4 right there. Then we got the night crawlers and the Zebico 33 right up here. Okay, let's go fishing. So this is the beautiful pond that we're at this morning. If you guys were wondering how, what that rod ended up coming out to be, it's about $20 for the Zebico 33, which I'm fine with, man. But you know why I'm fine with it? The world's most famous fishing reel just got better cajun style <laughs> yeah it's it's been quite some time since i've used a push button reel probably since you know me and my grandfather were fishing out here this is one of the ponds that we used to fish when i was younger so i'm super pumped about that we used to sit on this very bench right here and fish you know with live night crawlers literally exactly what we're doing today and that's why this video is so special to me and i hope you guys are going to enjoy it if you want to see some more live bait videos let me know in the comment section below if you guys are new to the channel be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell hit the like button comment below if you're enjoying the content and drop your suggestions drop your suggestions below on live bait videos and really whatever videos you guys want to see i'm trying to do stuff different here so Let's go ahead and get rigged up. I didn't really get to show you these like up close. So I guess I'm gonna, let's see. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it now. See him? See all the night crawler? Ooh, yeah, you saw that. Ooh, look at, oh, snap. Yeah, they're definitely jacked. They do some bicep curls on the weekends. Oh, dude, that's a, that's a slimy big boy right there. Not gonna lie. Okay. Okay, we are gonna get this started, boys. First things first, we're gonna have to throw the old bobber on. Then we're gonna tie us an old hook. We're gonna be using, see those are a little bigger. We're gonna be using these right here. This is usually what I used to use when I was younger. So I'm just going with what you know I got before. I'm a bass fisherman, guys. This is not me, but you know, I like to get a little bit out of my comfort zone and try new things every once in a while. Bobber, just like that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Don't say no, I can't do anything but bass fishing now. You know. So this is where I started. Hooks. All right, so we got our rig all rigged up. We got the bobber on, and then we got about a foot and a half, two foot leader. I put one split shot on it just to get it sinking. Um, and then we got our hook right there. So now we're just gonna rig up with these fancy old beautiful, why can't I see what's going on here? Fancy old beautiful night crawlers right here. Get a little, get a little action test, see what's going on. Oh, you little slimy boy. Oh, you a little, oh my mother of pearl, man. What are we slipping? Okay. Yeah, these are some big boys, man. They weren't lying by these things lift some weights. Those are some slimy little guys. I don't know about, there's 18 in there. I don't know about that, but let's go ahead and get this started. I honestly think these might be too big for my liking, but okay. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, buddy. Calm down. You better calm down, mister. Hey, I'm tired of your sass already. No. You're a little greasy boy, aren't you? We well, gonna listen. This, this is a bass is going to eat this one, okay? If we're gonna fish for the bluegill, we definitely gonna be fishing with something smaller. But a bass, this, this, this might get us an old bass, okay? We are gonna start off with a, for a bass. You know, we're gonna be fishing for some bass, sunfish, bluegill, crappie, catfish, really whatever bites at the end of the day. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get a bass with this one. I already see some bluegill swimming around, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. Bite alert. What the heck does that mean? Now we gotta check our drag. I wanted to get it further out than that. See if one bites it right away. I already know what's gonna happen. That's more like it. I want it out there. Now we wait. This is, whew, this is hard for nobody to do, let me tell you. Get them back in there. See what we working with. Hit me again. Just like that. Just like that, baby. Oh, snap. Oh yeah, it's a bluegill, man. Just like that. First bite, or actually kind of second bite. Oh, he's a freaking slauncher too. This is a big one, boys. Look at that. You could tell actually by this fish, it doesn't have too much food in here. See how flat he is right there. Ooh. Look at that, guys. Beautiful little bluegill right here. That is so much fun, honestly. Like, just doing something. Oh, he's the one who stole my worm. You see the worm hanging out? 
He's the one who stole that piece of my worm, the cast before. And then we just threw right back in there and caught that beautiful bluegill right there. Let's get him back in the water and see if we can catch another one. That is insane. He literally bit at the cast before. That's awesome. But just beautiful fish right there. This is so much fun just trying something different for me. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well because you used to know a bass fishing. I don't even think I've done anything on my channel rather than bass fishing. I did some red fishing one time, but that is a thin guy. He needs some more meat on his bones. His buddy just came up and looked at me. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Do you guys see my tan line? That That is not okay. Well, <laughs> we still got a worm on right here. I'm impressed by the Zebco, man. That, that sucker was fighting. He's almost pulling me in, man. He felt like a shark. We're gonna do it again, right here on Kicking the Bass TV. Yeah, he's falling. Oh yeah, eat it, eat it. Yeah, baby. Biggin', biggin', boys. Get the net. Oh, he just... I was toying with him the whole time, and he just pulled a fast one. Let me tell you, that fish took one for the team. He ate the worm, and it fell out of his mouth, and then some other one just came up and ate it. <laughs> All right, let's get us another night crawler on this thing. Um, the bass about to eat it. The bass just ate it. The bass just ate it. Yo, the bass just ate it, boys. Yes. Let's go. Look at that. This isn't the one that was bigger, but that's awesome. All right, hold on. What are we doing here? Look at that, guys. Awesome to catch a bass doing this. <laughs> that's freaking sweet right there. So we got us a bluegill. Now we got us a bass. Um, we had a sunfish on. I was just toying with him and he played off or pulled off. Really dark bass is up here in the slop and you can just tell us where he's living. Beautiful little bass, wanted him a little live worm. Let's get him back in the water. All right, boys, beautiful bass. Look at the colors on that guy. That is just so awesome. So blessed to catch these things. There he goes. That was sweet right there. Do what we're working with. Oh, look at that one. Right when I started shaking that, and take a little close peep at him. Holy cow. These night crawlers aren't a joke. I'm telling you, Walmart, I'm surprised that 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 is Look at this guy. See if he'll go full extendo mode. We gotta be generous to these guys. We're gonna feed one. Huge night crawler. Let's see what they do. They're so finicky. You better eat that thing. Huge bluegill's about to suck them down. But yeah, I mean, we got a good bit left. Look at this. Holy cow, we got a lot more than I thought. Look at this. We're gonna feed the guys over here. I know some of the little ones probably eat it. They still haven't pecked out. Oh, Bash just launched them down. Heck yeah. We're going to do one more. Then we're going to get back to fishing. Well, let's go ahead and rig some of these. Oh, yeah, that's a good shot. Look at that. You can see it there. You guys ready? It's going to happen. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Well, sunfish. Bass got it. Bass got it. Let's go. Oh, he's a fat one, too. You've been eating, haven't you? Look at that. <laughs> That's like a future toad right there. You know, he's got the beautiful markings. Gosh, look at that. Fat little tummy, and it's just a straight little football. Heck yeah. Thank you for biting. Got him. All right, we get we we getting it now, boys. I just wanted to get the big camera out to show the beautiful markings on these fish. And look at the, just the colors, the yellows. and That's awesome, man. Pretty little guys. Thank you for biting, buddy. Look at him freaking out. He's barking. All right, buddy. Thank you for biting. Let's go. Let's go. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty one, too. Look at the orange on his belly. Look at that bluegill. Look at the colors on that. Oh, he's peeing. No. Bad boy. Oh, he's pissing all over you little shit. He's pissed all over my shoe. I was saying you're the prettiest out of all of them, but I don't know about you anymore. Look at that one though. Um whatever man. Make it difficult on me. Now I'm done with all you said. All you wanted was my bread. Got me messed up in it.